So ladies and gentlemen, your excellency, friends, um, I'm very happy to be here today and to share with you a few ideas and a few comments. Uh, and uh, some of you might know us, some of you might not. Uh, we are located in Saint Andre. This is a fantastic garden in Saint Andre. But in 2010, this beautiful building that was opened only after Brownfield investment two years, and just to tell you the truth, this was the first ever finished Norwegian grant project because it turned into a zero emission building, a solar building, experienced a flood, a flood of two meters in the garden. And you might say that it's only once in every 50 years. Unfortunately, we couldn't take our staff photo this year. Why? Because this year was two and a half meters. So when we talk about adaptation, when we talk about climate change, I have to say that our gardener was monitoring in the garden the Danube rise and in 2002, he was saying 8 meters 35. In 2006, 8 meters 60. 2010, 8 meters 27 centimeters. And his prediction that the next big flood will be in 2014, climaxing at 8 meters 70. Unfortunately, life has overridden it. It was 8 meters 95 centimeters. So when we talk about adaptation and the relevance of this project, we as an institution, we as a community, we Hungarians living in the Danube Basin, I have to say that this is a reality and this is why the importance of this project uh, will be foreseen now and for many years to come. We are sharing from the Baltic states to the Visegrad countries, to the Balkans, up until Turkey, including Ukraine. A lot of common grounds with the 17 country offices, 200 colleagues. And we are working with you on many, many important programs. We help coordination, research, stakeholder involvement, policy briefs, and capacity building. We are trying with Zsuzsa and Judith, who will be working with you for the next five years, to bring this all into reality. But Zolta will be all with you from the regional environmental as well. We work on adaptation, not only in Hungary, but through the Carpathian CC, working across the Carpathian Basin, or water core projects, which connects water scarcity and droughts in other seven European regions, or mediation, how to have a good discussion on these issues, how to exchange information, work on national grounds, but above all, we need information and we need inventories and we need knowledge and we need preparedness. Just to say that this is one of the first finished grants of the Norwegian grant and I'm very grateful because five years ago, it enabled us to provide a lot of information about how green buildings or brown buildings could be turned into green buildings. It won a European prize and we have a sister building in China. So I have to say that whatever we do in this five years project, it could be transferred as lessons learned to other countries as well. And also to take in and to consideration to work together in an important issue. And here I would like to say that you are always welcome, hopefully not on bloats, boats floating to the wreck, but on feet to visit us. And I do hope that this project meeting is not going to be only in this very beautiful and congratulations for this fantastic building. But hopefully we will have another opportunity to welcome you during these uh, coming years in the Regional Environmental Center. Uh, Your Excellency Ambassador, I would like to say that uh, your government, as well as the fund itself, is providing a very important work for us for the coming years. 
We have a twin organization from Norway who's bringing their experience to us and we have had the privilege for the past years to work with you together. I do hope it's going to be much widely accepted. Through the model projects, I'm sure we will have the opportunity to transfer lessons learned and have good practices. And here I would like to say a better, a very important thank you to, to also to member of the parliament, Mr. Benchik, because you were helping us wearing different hats that this project today is reality. So thank you all in the room and I do hope we will have a very good cooperation, collaboration and I look forward to work with you until the end of the project and we will have good results for Hungary, for Europe and for the world. Thank you.